Hello, welcome back. So, this is our lesson for today about cube of A binomial. So, this is another special product aside from sum and difference, square of binomial, and square of trinomial. Now, we have the cube of A binomial. Okay, how do we find the product of cube of A binomial? The product of a cube of a binomial consists of four terms. Okay, now let's observe the two pattern or two example let's have the cube of x plus y or it becomes um, x plus y times x plus y times x plus y and it is equal to x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square okay the second pattern is the cube of x minus y or um, it means that you have to multiply x minus y three times. So, we have x minus y times x minus y times x minus y. And the product is x cubed minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y cubed. To find the cube of a binomial of the form um, cube of x plus y, a, you have to find the cube of each term to get the first and the last. Letter B, the second term is 3 times the product of the square of the first term and the second term. Letter C, the third term is 3 times the product of the first term and the square of the second term. Okay, hence we have the cube of x plus y is equal to x cubed plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cubed. Okay, to find the cube of a binomial of the form of cube of x minus y, we have letter A, find the cube of each term to get the first and the last term. And then letter B, the second term is 3 times the product of the square of the first term and the second term. And letter C, the third term is 3 times the product of the first term and the square of the second term. Hence, we have the cube of x minus y equals x cubed minus 3x square y plus 3xy square minus y square uh, minus y cube. Okay, we have some patterns to follow. Cube of a binomial product consists of four terms. Since four terms yan a and to find the first term, uh, we simply cube the first term. Okay, to find the second term, we're going to twice or three times the square of the first term times the second term and to find the third term thrice or three times the first term times the square of the second term and to find the fourth term we're going to square or we're going to cube the second term okay before we proceed we're going to recall or review your cube of a number let's say for example we have one cube it is equivalent to 1 times 1 times 1. Or we multiply 1 3 times. 10, it is equal to 1. While 2 cube, it is equal to 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. While 3 cube is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 and it is equal to 27. And 4 cube, it is equal to 4 times 4 times 4. Or 4 times 4, 16 times 4 equals 64. Next, 5 cube is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 equals, and based on the given pattern, or you're going to follow that pattern to solve um, the remaining cube of A numbers. Okay, now let's start to find the cube of a binomial and... Uh, we just follow the given pattern okay so example the cube of x plus y okay the first term is x and the second term is y therefore okay to find the first term we, we simply cube the first term which is x we have x cubed okay next to find the second term we're going to three times the square of the first term the first term is x so that's why we have three x square times the second term y okay then we have 3x square y next to find the third term we're going to have three times um, the first term which is x multiply by the square of the second term the second term is y so y square 
Then now we have 3xy square. And to find the fourth term, we're going to have um, cube of the second term. The second term is y, therefore we have y cube. And to write the final answer, we have x cube plus 3x square y plus 3xy square plus y cube. Okay, next we have the example number 2, the cube of x minus 4. Okay, we have an example number 2. We're going to cube x minus 4. To find the product, it consists of 4 terms. So, we have the first, second, third, and fourth term. To find the first term, we just follow the first step. Uh, we have to cube the first term, which is x, and the second term is negative 4. Okay, cube the first term, so we have x cubed. Then the answer is x cubed. And to find the second term, we're going to twice or three times the square of the first term. Okay, we have 3 times x square times the second term. The second term is negative 4. So that's why we have 3x square times negative 4 equals negative 12x square. Okay, next to find the third term. Okay, we're going to twice or three times the first term x and the square of the second term. Second term is negative 4 and then we square. So that's why we have negative 4 square. Then negative 4 square is 16. So that's why we have 3 times 16 equals 48x. And to find the fourth term, again, we're going to cube the second term. The second term is negative 4. Negative 4 cube is equal to negative 64. And now we're going to write the final answer. x cubed minus 12x squared plus 48x minus 64. Okay, now let's have an example number 3. We're going to cube 2x minus 5y. Okay, again to find the product, we're going to follow the pattern. Okay, so first we're going to identify what is the first and what is the second term. The first term is 2x, the second term is negative 5y. Okay, to find the first term, we're going to um, cube the first term, which is, the first term is 2x. 2x cubed is equivalent to 2 cubed, x cubed, and 2 cubed is 8. Then we have x cubed, that's why we have 8x cubed. Okay, next to find the second term, we're going to have um, 3 times the square of the first term. 3 times the first term is 2x, so we have 2x square times the second term, which is negative 5y. And then the next step, we're going to have 3 times um, 2 square x square times negative 5y. And then it becomes 3 times 2 square is 4. 4x squared minus 5y. Then now we have 3 times 4, 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. The answer is negative 60x squared y. And to find the third term, we're going to have 3 times the first term, which is 2x, and square the second term. So the second term is negative 5y, then square. And then it is equal to 3 times 2x times okay, negative 5 squared y squared. Then it becomes 3 times 2x times 5 square is 25y square. 3 times 2 is 6. Uh, 3 times 2x is 6x times 25y square is 150xy square. And to find the fourth term, we're going to cube the second term. Again, the second term is negative 5y. Cube of negative 5y is equivalent to negative 5 cube y cube. Then, negative 5 cube is equal to negative 125y cube. Okay, and now the final answer is x cube minus 60x square y plus 150xy square minus 125y cube. Okay, good luck. Hope you can follow the pattern. And it's your turn. You're going to find the product of cube of a binomial using the given pattern. Thank you for watching and happy learning and for more videos, for more lessons, please click the like, subscribe, and the bell button below. So, para ma masubaybayan nyo po yung mga uploads ko.
which is may nauna na po akong upload about a special product which is the sum and difference uh, square of a binomial and cube of a trinomial. Okay, good luck and happy learning.